Okay, I still had people asking about how I make my primer, so I'm going to try to make one from ground up. And in this case, I am making a rifle type primer for the Sim 6 tube. And with my gun, it seems to work best with the sheet metal from a tin can. And uh, what I do is uh, cut out a disc roughly around 7 to 8 millimeters in diameter, so it's just slightly bigger than a the primer pocket itself and using a modified drill bit and a hammer you try to punch press it into a cup and a uh, few if, you, if your disc is uh, too too big what happens is uh, too much material gets hung hung up around the edge and the uh, the bottom of the cup will tear and if the, your disc is too small a lot of times it tends to deform and uh, even if you get it right the walls will be too short to house any priming compound and this one's a little small but it's, I, think it, I think it'll be alright Get a little cup going. I'm gonna make sure it's. Oops. Make sure I get it in the right shape or size. Okay. So I shaped the back portion. Now I'm gonna shape the mouth of it and so that's done just did that okay so there's the cup and now we're going to load it and for my primers what I do is I use let me see if I'm in the frame yeah I use Roll from the caps in the plastic cup and just squeeze it with the pliers, get the paper out, and just tap it out. Tap all the crap out. And you want to be gentle with her. She's very sensitive and tends to go off on you if you mistreat her. So you got that. And just put that in the cup. At least try to. And so you got the first stage there. And what I like to do is take a roll cap, cut out a little small disc, and I'm going to use this to seal all that loose powder down to the base of the cup. Now this is not necessary but I just like to do this. There's a pack a bunch basically. And again this is I'm gonna be gentle here. Don't dab at her. She doesn't like that. And you pick a anvil, recycled anvil from original case or the original primer. And you just Put that in the center of it and just see if you can get a close up of that as far as it goes. So there's the primer all ready to go. Sorry. And just take a case and press it in there. As far as you can get it to get it down with your finger, and then go back with a wooden dowel, stick, whatever, and then just press down on it. Make sure it's all the way down there. And uh, what you want to do is uh, you want to take like a JB weld or just something simple, some simple glue, and put a dab in it, and thumb it in place, and make sure it fills all the gap around it to gas seal it. And uh, I wouldn't. 
recommend using a super glue since it tends to flow all the way through down into the primer pocket and then back into the the priming composition and tends to basically screw it up and and it will not go off. So well since while we're at it we'll just test it out. Make sure it works. And uh this is a, even saying it's just a primer, it's pretty strong stuff, so I wouldn't recommend, you know, shooting it at somebody or putting your hand out and I mean, if you really want to, um, I guess you could. I don't see why you would. Anyways, so let's zoom out a little bit. My messy desk. And there's the rifle. Oops. Yeah, okay. It's good to go. Put that in there. Okay. Shoot at the toilet paper just to show you that it does have quite a force. There it goes. There she goes. So it's enough to tear through a couple sheets of toilet paper. So again, it's not something you take lightly. And uh, again, if you have a strong primer that helps set off the main charge so there's the primer or the case and uh, there you have it so that's what I did. all these case I guys the same exact way and these are all pretty much ready to go so that's that, and essentially it's the same method for all uh, all size primers. Just uh, you gotta adjust for different materials. Uh, it could be aluminum, it could be a sheet metal like this. Uh, it just depends on how strong your firing pin and all that stuff are. So I hope this helps. Again, just it's pretty serious stuff here, so try try to be careful. And stay safe. And so thanks for watching.